Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac Channel Questions and today we're going to have another look at Artboard and Vector Design and doing a comparison of the two. And without a doubt, one of the things you're going to want to do is to be able to put text on a path. So let's have a look at how we do that with these two applications. Now first of all, let's go to our toolbox and we're in Artboard and we'll go to the text on a path one. So basically what we're going to do is start there we're drawing this with our Bezier curves. Double click to finish that line off. And now we've got some text on a path. Now it comes in as fully justified so it goes across the whole length of the path. So, But what we might want to do is we might prefer to have it so that it is uh, aligned to the center. In which case you'll get that. And then once you've got it centered like that then you can use the text tool here and size the text so that it fits across your line or your curve the best way that you want it to. Or we can have it so that it is either left justified, so the text moves away over to the left there. Or we can have it so that it is aligned to the right. Okay, let's put it back in the center again. Now one of the things I can do with this is if I use Man Shift and the minus button it will reduce the size of the text. So that's just using the keyboards and then command shift and the plus button and we're increasing the size of the text. So that's quite good. Now if we want to put the uh, text onto a circle, that's a little bit more difficult. Let's have an oval there, oval shape and we'll draw our oval there. Copy that circle first. Do command copy of the circle. Then we select our text. Go to let's see, edit menu and paste path on object. So we've got our oval there, repasted in there, and we press enter. Okay, so there we go, we've got it on our oval now, and we can bring that and put it down here. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to have it so the text is away from the line. And I've got that selected now, so let's go to text, align, align left, align center. It's not really center aligned, is it? And we'll go to text, vertically aligned, top. Let's go text, vertically aligned again. Go to bottom, text align, vertically aligned, and centered on path. Change case. We'll have uppercase or capitalized words if we wanted to. You can do all those sorts of things while the text is still in aligned and it uh, stays upon your line there. Let's have a look, see what we can do with Vector Designer. Okay, so I'll put some text on a path here. Now it works a little bit different here because uh, what we do with this one here is we make a line first. Okay, so there's our line. Then we want to put text onto it. Basically all we have to do is to go to this where it changes from the cross shape that we have there look until it changes into the eye beam shape. Above baseline or below the baseline I can do that quite easily. That's a bit easier than in uh, Artboard and the position I can say whereabouts I want it to be on the line underneath the baseline and flipped. Okay so we've got some text on the line there now I can select that I can do the spacing if I need to so that spreads the text out that says where the text is going to be in relation to the uh, line have it above the line or below the line let's put it back above the line and we can say where the position is going to be so rather than have to mess about with left justify and right justify, we can just move the text along the path to exactly where we want it to be. I think some ways that is a better way of doing it than it is in Artboard. Okay, so now we're going to do a shape of a oval. As per the last one, let's take that there. And we're going to do the text thing again. So let's do text. And... Let's change to an eye beam shape look so it goes from across to an eye beam shape double click on it again this time I can uh, position the text that's moving the text around where I want it to be that's the baseline so if I want it inside the circle or if I want it on the outside of the circle I can do that nice and easily and that's the spacing okay so spacing has moved it around off to the right and we can make the text center justified and then go back to the position so if you have a look at the position now the actual position of the little uh, 
where the, that center there that that little triangle that's where the uh, text centered is so basically what we'll do the position if we want it right in the center and at the top now if we're changing the size of the text we can just go and do this or we can have our uh, lovely comic sans face if we want to make it bold face so do you know what I think I prefer the way that the text fits to a line on this application vector designer in art text okay so that's putting text onto a path using vector designer and for my money I think it works a bit better if we want to have it so that the text is on a uh, path at the top of a circle then the best thing to do instead of using a the circle tool is to use the arc tool okay so there we have an arc all right this is changed the size of it this one here changes where it's about so that's at the top now and then we can go to the through the business of putting text on there again okay so there's our text on the line double click with the select tool to edit it now what I do is go to this one here I do command C to copy the arc then I go to the text and I go to edit paste path on object so basically what that's done is put that text there as if it was going on to this arc here and then once we've got that there we can go to text and tell it to align to the center instead of justify we can make our text bigger so it takes the whole of the arc if we want to we can change the font to a different type of font so you can accomplish the same sort of things in artboard as you can do there in vector designer but i think it's a little bit more difficult on the whole i think a lot of things are a little bit more difficult within artboard rather than vector designer but on the other hand it does do a few more things than vector designer does so maybe there you go again another reason why you might have both of these applications in your graphics design toolbox